All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to the first weekly development call from the uh, ETC Mathis Dev team. Um, the goal of these calls is to go through each of the work streams and talk about what they've done for the previous week, what they plan to do for the next week, and any issues we can out them. Um, I'm David Cedric, I'm a business analyst on the team. Um, what we have been doing up until now, um, I'll hand over to Julie who can talk about this and the state of play and where we plan to go in the next few months. And um, we have a GitHub repo, which I'll attach to the video, which you can delve down and get further information on the project. But other than that, I'll hand over to Julie now, who can give his introduction. Juli, ¿qué tal? Hello, everybody. This is Julian Mendiola. I'm the tech lead from the team that's going to revive uh, Mantis, the ETC client. Uh, so as you may know, Mantis is the Scala uh, IOHK ETC client, has been uh, worked for a couple of years, but not on the recent uh, last time. So we, we are planning to have a new release on the end of November, uh, that should include um, Mantis client syncing with the main uh, network and also a testnet on where we can deliver both the treasury, the proto treasury uh, smart contract working there and as the 51 protection uh, to through checkpointing. So to do that, we planned three stages. And the first one that it's pretty much uh, completed now was to make an assessment of the state of Mantis and the things that have been following the community for the last uh, year or so. So the ACIPs that uh, we needed to implement. So there's been work if you have followed the repository in that regard. Uh, in the next phase, we're going to bring the new features. Uh, and that's currently uh, working on as well. Uh, and finally, uh, we want to get Mantis to, to a level of security where we can call it a stable and have our QA approval. So that's, uh, in general terms, uh, the plan. As we go through these weekly updates, we'll, we'll have more, more, more to come, for sure. So without further saying, I'll let you with uh, Nico, our core uh, team captain. So thank you. Uh, hey, guys. Yes, I'm Nico. I'm the core squad captain. And on, during this, as fully briefly mentioned, during this month, we've been uh, working on yeah on several features: uh, proto tertiary, checkpointing, uh, and also on uh, trying to uh, start our start uh, doing some deployment, some development in order to have our own uh, internal testnet to try to try out some things. On this side, we have there have been quite a lot of works on our DevOps, DevOps part of the team. And uh, we have been preparing Mantis for the integration with work on uh, metrics and uh, the faucet that we are uh, reviving it. Uh, on the proto treasury and checkpointing, we have already implemented quite a, a lot of uh, required changes for the ACP implementations. And uh, we are planning to, for this week, uh, continue probably uh, end the uh, developing the proto uh, protocol changes with some uh, further definitions that we have been uh, discussing uh, and continue working on on the checkpoint inside with uh, some uh, the focusing on the some bumps of some versionings for uh, our OVFT part which is the the, the solution for the 51 percent attack and maybe continue integrating all of these the OVFT and our uh, Mantis into the this mini cluster were starting to uh, to spin up. Uh, so now I think yeah for the uh, network and syncing update, uh, I'm going to Conrad. Yep. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Conrad. I'm a core team developer, mainly responsible for synchronization and networking on the Mantis. So for the last few Two, three weeks main kind of main working stream was to implement or missing ECIPs in Mantis to make sure we are compatible with uh, current Ethereum Classic network state. 
this work has been done and we are currently testing it uh, by syncing the Mantis to the Ethereum Classic mainnet on EC2 instance. Uh, so that's one thing. And current work streams are for networking is to bring up the full Kadimlia Ethereum protocol discovery because uh, Mantis was on, always lacking it. And second part is to improve reliability of our fast syncing because currently it's uh, not working reliably enough to uh, be used as a feature of Mantis. So we need to improve that. Uh, yeah, and I think that's all. I will give up to Andre. Okay. Hey everyone, um, Andre, um, Wallet Squad uh, Captain. Um, and uh, that, uh, well, uh, when it, we talk about uh, Wallet in terms of Mantis, uh, we, as, uh, we think uh, both about uh, the front end, that is uh, the Luna Wallet that you will see, uh, I hope soon, -ish, and uh, both and the uh, backend uh, development. Um, so uh, when it comes to Luna, we did uh, bootstrap the project. We did um, implemented um, the ability to basically manage uh, Mantis instance uh, from within uh, Luna. So uh, Luna can uh, nicely connect and uh, manage it. Um, and uh, we have implemented uh, basic fun functionality as uh, sending transaction and access to transaction history. Um, when it uh, comes to other features and uh, current uh, work stream, uh, we focus mainly on uh, different uh, UX and uh, UI improvements. Um, and uh, I hope I, I will be able to tell you more about that in next week. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Sergey. I'm a K Squad Captain. And uh, during the uh, last two weeks, uh, uh, our team was preparing the uh, testing plan of the features that we were going to implement. Uh, we also started creating the test cases, uh, as well as uh, uh, we prepared the <clears throat> scripts uh, in order to spin up our uh, local environment, in order to proceed with the testing. Uh, we also uh, was lucky enough to connect uh, the uh, Luna Wallet Mantis version to our local uh, network. It works fine, so we are finally ready to continue with the manual functional testing of the uh, features that are going to be implemented. Uh, no major blockers so far and uh, we also are going to work uh, on uh, different tools implementation like uh, network activities generator and probably uh, the docker helper scripts in, or in order to help other teammates uh, spin up the uh, Montes network and this is pretty much it from my side, thank you. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for this week. And um, thanks for watching. And um, any further information or any questions or issues, you can raise them on our on our GitHub repo. And um, till next week, talk to you and thank you. <laughs>